Ladies and gentlemen, CK Fionn and Jürgen. Um, just out on a walk and uh, the interesting times have already begun. I'll show you what I mean about that. There's the little fuckers. These little malicious little creatures these things are. Look at it. Just chilling out down there. And they're all along the pathway along here. There's another little bastard. And another one. Another one, carry on a bit further up. I'm sure we'll find more of these little ones. Oh, yeah, look. There's another two, chilling out down there. Oh, just preparing himself, getting himself ready to. Uh, yeah. There's another one, and another one, and they're all coming out now. So, um, yay, yay, slugs. Um, in continue a talk on slugs if you really want it's yeah another one they're everywhere and they're, they're, the reason why they're here is because this ground is really wet and you can see big ass puddles and shit like that so there's another one so they're just loving it they're loving it out here and some more there so they're all getting ready yeah, another one another one yeah. Yeah, you get the general gist, they're everywhere down here. So, um, yeah, you can you can try a lot of stuff with these things. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say anything about what works and what doesn't work. You guys can, you guys can figure it out. Um, I've seen some videos of interesting things with slugs, particularly ones where they're dying, um, is a good one. But the only thing, and I, I, I said uh, in the comment, that um, you know, the only, I hate these little things, but the only reason why I tolerate them is because um, hedgehogs eat them. And I'm going to employ some of nature's, uh, nature's little helpers. I'm going to make a little hedgehog house and see if I can make something for um, lace wings and all of that type of stuff, uh, so that um, they can come down and eat the aphids, which are like head lice for plants, and uh, then the hedgehogs will eat the slugs. Um, also, this is this is uh, classified as potentially cruel. Um, so, if you really love slugs and they like your best friends, and you know you might not want to might want to close your ears for what I'm about to say. So these are greedy little fuckers and they will gobble through just about everything that they can slime their little foot across and they really like semolina they love semolina so much that they will eat that until they literally die because they cannot eat anymore and what or the reason why this is uh, a, a knowledge is because in the um in the food industry, there's people who like to eat snails. Ah, it's not so hard. Yeah. Anyway, each to their own. It's a delicacy. Meh. Some people like it. So, so what they do is they feed the snails semolina, and obviously the semolina is a nicer food. It's, it's a, it's a wheat type. That's not wheat. Semolina. Um, it's a carbohydrate food like wheat, like flour, um, rice. Yeah, you get me grain. So, um. So yeah, basically, they'll just gobble it all up, and they'll die, because they'll eat too much of it. And then you cook them, because they're now full of semolina, so it's a nice nice bit inside to cook. I wouldn't want to eat it, but meh, I guess so. So, I might employ some of that, and I'm, I'm sure, well actually, hmm, I'll have to find out what happens with hedgehogs and semolina because obviously if I feed the snails and slugs semolina and the hedgehogs eat them and the hedgehogs get hurt, yeah, I've kind of wasted my time and just ruined everything, so we'll see. But yeah, semolina will, will kill them and they'll just gorge themselves on it. And also, uh, thanks for the advice about uh, just making up a own home brew rather than going and buying beer because beer is expensive and to constantly be buying beer and whatever to um, keep filling up traps and stuff like that uh, some yeast and sugar and water is a lot cheaper and um, like was suggested apple peels because these things like apples as well so you're kind of going down the route towards the cider but really really yeasty because these things love yeast so yeah anyway so what has been going on so all the little plants as you've seen they're all um, growing up nicely getting quite big 
and um, they're getting too big, in fact, which is why some of them have fallen over. They've um, basically they've kind of like how do I explain it? They've shrunk, shriveled up right at the base, um, and now the mo- now the roots aren't. Uh, feeding up the stem to the leaves and it, it basically suffocates it, it dies and it falls over And obviously you get leggy plants which will just lean over and you can tie them back up but those ones are they're, they're screwed but we're, we're fittest of the fittest here so only the decent ones that are healthy and strong are going to go out because obviously I'm trying to um, I'm, I'm thinking about an end game where I can basically throw these seeds out and then they'll just grow so I want the strongest plants within the seeds that I'm, I'm germinating. So, uh, so yeah, I'll, um, I'll do a video on that, obviously, so you guys can see. It will be bootleg, like all my videos are. Um, and, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Well, not really here to uh, uh, kind of get subscribers and fans and stuff like that, as you might well have noticed from some of my videos. Um, that's Some of that's enemy talk right there, so, um, you know... Cheers for you guys who stick about, is what I'm saying, because uh, enough respect to that. Anyone who's just going to basically come in, chat some shit, and go away, fair play to them. You're free to do whatever you want. I'm not going to stop you from doing it. It's your choice. It's your life. Do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, on to more, more sadness from this platform. What are you doing? Shutting everyone down for no reason. So, yeah, so um, some of you will probably have seen today uh, that UK Growmaster THC, uh, who's been doing this for a very long time, um, and even served time in prison for it. So, you know, I mean, that's a warrior. Someone who's willing to go to prison over, over the plant and not for you know, profit and greed and, you know, smuggling and stuff like that. It's just a man-growing plant. So enough respect to that. But he's had his notice from YouTube. So then he needs to remove the content from his channel. So you're not going to be able to um, to see anything. And in essence, what they've done is they've, they've taken that man's channel down. But what that has done is taken all that knowledge away. So all the knowledge that he was able to pass on to everyone, for everyone to be able to see. So if you're watching this, you're obviously trying to find bits of information um, and hopefully to improve on what I do, because like I said, I'm fond of knowledge. So all of that knowledge has now been taken away. Um, I'll obviously, Grey Master, um, when you set yourself back up again, hit us up with an email. And then for you passing on and telling the subscribers about my channel, I will then hopefully um, help build your channel back up as well. Um, just out of due respect, you know, as a community, we're all, we're all here for the love of the plant. So, you know what I mean? So, it's a sad time, but obviously he's not gone away. And I'm sure that he'll continue to carry on uh, pushing the word of the plant forward. So. I mean, and to the rest of you guys, mad respect too. You, you guys know who you are. Um, chatting to you on the on the comment section and whatever. Um, so yeah, mad respect. And um, we'll carry on, we'll carry on until I get the notice to take it down, and then I'll figure out something that I'm going to do about where to upload stuff and whatever. Um, unfortunately, as you guys well know, Google owns pretty much all of the platforms. If it's not him, then it's Facebook. And these guys, they are not your friends. They're not here to help you. They are here to fill their pockets with as much money as they can possibly get. So, you know, it's, it's completely understandable that they don't want us doing stuff like this. They don't want to allow it to just be free like YouTube was at the beginning. Because it's the beast, my friend. It is the beast. It's not a living creature. It's a massive entity that you will not be able to cut with the sword or shoot with the gun. Because even if you think that you can go and take them out, six more will come in their place. Because they'll just recruit again. Do you know what I mean? And then they'll increase the the strength of their buildings and so on and so on. So that's not how we we deal with this. Unfortunately, you can't walk with the beast. So... We just have to live with it and stay away from its claws and shit, man. But 
anyway, whatever. So uh, it's becoming a bit of a common theme walking down this path. But hopefully, if you are paying attention, you will see that everything's starting to grow up. So the first time that I came down here and you saw it, all of this was just, there was nothing on it. There were all those stinging nettles and all that elder, that's just there. And all those stinging nettles, that, that wasn't there. And um, it's a bit hard to see because the, the camera's not the best. But, um, you know, I was, I was saying, saying about where you can plant plants around out in the country and if you were to throw stinging nettles up into that bit there and you just left them, you could hide them. But when I showed you, there was no stinging nettles, not really. But, you know, look, it's already grown up by, what, about four inches? Four inches already, just in that short time. So stuff is progressing quickly. So, um, you know, each week that goes by is, is a week lost um, about now. So if you are planting, you, you want to start now. Otherwise you're going, um, in essence, you'll suffer the fact that the plant won't have enough time to get large enough. It will still get to the end, don't get me wrong, but you'll just get a smaller plant because obviously it's not going to get as much sun and whatever. Um, but you'll still get it through, but obviously the sooner you can do it, the better. And we are past, well, for where I am anyway, we're past the last frost. So realistically, the plants can now just go outside and um, do what they're going to do. Which will be, it'll be an interesting time with this videoing anyway, because um, I'm kind of undecided how I'm going to do that, because quite literally the plants, they're just going to go out into nature. If you've... Um, if you've seen Panic's videos, and Panic is um, one of the guys who who uh, runs the Real Gorilla Seed um, company or website, sells all of his seeds online. Just go, uh, just look on YouTube, Purple Maroc, and you should see uh, his video come up as one of the top. I think it has a picture of um, like a an orange bin and uh, he was dressing up in all camo like I do and all the rest of it is you know it's a sensible thing to do so um so yeah you can you can check that out and see how he's doing it and that's that's the the way that I'm going to do it so I'm not really going to grow in pots probably might grow um you know some auto flowers in pots but just because they are a little bit more tricky and I've not grown them before so that'll be a whole new experience to me um but yeah so uh so how I'm going to film that I'm not sure but I think I'm going to keep one garden which I can show you but I'm undecided how I'm going to do it so uh stuff might go a little bit slowly at that stage while I make some plans just to show you and ultimately my channel could get shut down before then but I will keep I will continue to still film the videos and post them up somewhere um yeah like I was saying the the beast and how it controls everything so we are stuck in a system of this of this crap of um, of social media platforms and whatever that's owned by, two, in essence, two companies. So they then make it very hard for another smaller company to come along and set up another type of thing, like how YouTube was when it started. So so ultimately, trying to find another platform outside of YouTube is quite difficult, and it's not going to be very good. Um, because it's it's starting up and it's new and then ultimately what will happen is it will get big it'll get sorted and then google or facebook will come and buy it vicious circle fun isn't it so um i'm kind of thinking i might just come back with a vengeance just like how they do just do what they do back you know use their weapon against them um they want to shut it down open a new channel um, it might be difficult, but the only way that I can really see it is by uh, being in the community and you know exchanging email addresses and all that type of stuff to spread out, and then from there people can spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out and then it'll get shut down and then just repeat the same process all over again. Bit of pain in the ass, but yeah, better to win and have pain in the winning than uh, sit back and be consumed by these these people. Yeah, they're not good people, man. I mean, just look at the kind of crap they allow on here. You're going to shut down men's channel who are out here not hurting or harming anyone, just growing some weed and trying to spread some you know, general love about the plant. Um, and they get shut down. But you want a whole heap of just complete fuckery. I mean, like, proper 
proper fuckery. And they'll leave that shit up. They'll leave it up. And they won't take it down and they won't touch it. So, yeah, you know what I mean? That's what they're up to. So. And you guys not. And not you guys aren't stupid, not me. You can see it for what it is, I'm sure. So anyway, um, the I ordered more pots. So I got 50 more pots. Um, and I got some uh, kind of like I showed you in the preparing for the little ones uh, the shopping pre thing shopping delivery um, tray pallet thing whatever it's called um, when I actually do that video I'll tell you what it is and where you could potentially get it from but I got five of them for 19 pounds free shipping and the the one that I showed in that video I paid 15 pounds for so yeah better bit of a better bargain they are second hand but meh, who cares it's just plastic at the end of the day uh, I also got the barrel so I've got a 30 litre barrel to mix up that compost um, not compost the fertilizer tea slash um, rancid smelling juice and uh, I'll mix that up and I'll do a video about that, uh, which it will be, um, are you talking, are you talking fertilizer again, Ninja, um, part four, or whatever I decide to title it. But yeah, in terms of titling as well, I have a feeling that they might be targeting the fact that it's the titles of the videos, and if they are seeing like um, certain words, certain trigger words, then it flags to them because remember they they aren't they're not about paying people money so they're doing this all automate or like automatically through various algorithms and systems that they have employed in place in order to to sift videos and and whatever and they've obviously put in certain words that we might use into that algorithm to track them out I don't know whether it's just titles or whether it is also the words that are said in it as well because one thing I did notice is that you can put captions onto these videos and in order for captions to take place they've scanned the audio and then the audio is running um, there's an algorithm running behind the audio to almost guess at the words that I'm saying so if I don't pronounce a word quite correctly it will just think what is closest to the word and if you put the captions on, on this video you'll see what I mean um, so whether or not that, that has an algorithm in it as well to, to track out what's being said, who, who knows. But to be honest with you, I don't know why. Um, sorry. I do know why, and I have already told you why they, why they shut it down. Because uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a tree of life, and they don't want it promoted. And every person who promotes it could open up someone's ear, and someone's ear could pass on through someone else's mouth, and blah 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 and the word gets around and then they're in a whole predicament of how we're going to keep our synthetic industry running and all the money that we make off it you know they, they want to kill us they want poison into the world they want fertilizers they want toxins they want all this shit around us every day um you know i can i can tell you a whole bunch of stuff but you know i'm not going to go into all that stuff this is really about growing um and more of this stuff is about my frustrations rather than talking about it if, if you get me so um so yeah the reoccurring theme of this location we are down here for a reason we're doing some exercise walking around in nature and we've got this so we're gonna let's make this one up and this oh man this is this is the finest grade here this here is the collection of twigs main well not twigs <laughs> it's it's the the stem part that's in the center of the bud that i pull out when i'm sifting the bud to, to smoke it i pull the the parts off of it and then i keep the um the stem part in a little part of the tray of the, the thing that i've got um how i've got nothing left so i am now literally blazing up the very last of the sugar leaves and the center core stem from the buds it beats the hell out of just smoking tobacco it actually it still does get you saint, uh, surprisingly enough. Um, I did think like I was kind of pushing it out on a limb there, really. But um, remember, when you are harvesting and you're you're trimming the sugar leaves and you're trimming down all that stuff, all of that stuff still has THC crystals on it. So it's not um, it's not like the sweetness of the the bud itself, but it still has the THC crystals on it, and it still tastes a damn sight nicer than than smoking just straight up tobacco. So. I don't know whether there's anything that you could potentially do to, instead of uh, taking the tobacco out and replacing that stuff for it, but I do find that if you don't mix tobacco and weed together, 
I don't know, it doesn't taste quite as nice. It's just kind of, I think, tobacco in terms of like salt. It's like putting a bit of salt or a bit of sugar onto it. And obviously salt and sugar are bad for you. So, you know I mean, you don't use a lot of it. You just use a bit for the flavour. Um, people have their own opinions on the matter. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pause it while I try and do this because last time it wasn't so successful. Eight. It works. So, um, yeah, it doesn't particularly taste of anything really very strong. It just kind of smokes, so smoke it. Um, but yeah, under a request from the last video that I did, uh, some old school music. So, um, one of the videos at one point in time that I'll put out, I'll put out um, a video of the music that I used to listen to when I would come out into places like this, and there would be a big ass rig set up down here blazing out all sorts of uh craziness but always my favorite that drum and bass back in the day was good like aphrodite uh, aphrodite um you know his uh mickey finn and all those type of guys as well so shy effects and you know from, from back in those times not that i'm particularly old just quite a lot of those songs um and tunes that they'd, they'd been out for maybe five six years before i'd had first heard them um being like fourth generation type thing so um so i'll do do some old reminiscent nostalgic songs i still listen to them I've got, i'm sure i've got um the cassette somewhere in a in a box um yeah i'll do that um hopefully bring some happy fun times um, to, to you guys whilst you listen to it and uh, watch the random bootleg videos that I make so um, so yeah anyway I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on walking down there it's quite muddy because it's been pissing down for rain and I hope that it's the weather is going to improve uh, I think it will I mean the weatherman says it will but what does the weatherman know nothing really he's just guessing and telling you that he thinks he knows the answer he gets it right most of the time not always that's because you can't predict the weather. You can just guess. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, again, sad news. Another YouTuber has had his channel shut down. But um, like I say, uh, UK Grey Master THC. When you when you figure out what you're doing, email me, and then if I can help you um, by propagating your channel. Um, then I will pass people over to you to your new channel so then they can pick up the knowledge because obviously you have shitloads of information to give to people and there's lots of other people on here as well. And if you are listening to this and you are um, you are a grower who's had your channel shut down and you want assistance in re-establishing um, you know, subscribers and stuff like that, like I said, I'm not about trying to generate subscribers, but if it's what you would like, then I'll, I'll help as part of the community to do that so i'll um i'll create a an email address that you can email me on um and i'll put it in the description of this video so yeah if you if you have had your channel shut down as well and you want um and you've opened a new channel on youtube but no one knows but yeah that was fun um shut down my video anyway um yeah so like i said uh anyway guys this is uk film ninja i'll see you all next time